Well, hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to Austreve. Our city of Raptoria is looking good and looking a little bit different, doesn't it? This doesn't look like the city you were playing on before. Well, it's a new version of the game that I started on a, a you know, with, with the new patch and such. So to go back to the old city uh, after doing a live stream here, we started this city, so it would be a downgrade. So this version fixing a few of the problems from the previous and this version of Raptoria fixing some of the versions of our previous build as well. So I was doing some live streaming. You guys helped. We built this city together, not on rock and roll, but on love and, of course, wood. Look at that. We've pretty much cleared out this forest for the most part. Look at that. Wow, that's actually very impressive. We've got some more areas to build in. We've got ourselves a trading post up, and we're starting some farming, for real. I've actually purchased some cows, and, like, a ton of them died because I didn't know that I actually had to have the hay barracks up, but now we've kind of learned some of that stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, start with our neighbors. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some stuff up here. We might have to go another year with just fish, so we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can... Oh, wait. First thing i got to do is... Uh, Oh, yeah, go to the map down here. We're going to try to trade with some uh, neighbors here. I think we need to go to uh, Bacalia and see if we can send a messenger out there in order to get a cow. Now, it's September, and uh, we're pretty much a little too late, I think, on some of our harvest, but we did actually get some farming done in a previous uh, stream, and I believe the folks were able to bring in some uh, food, which apparently uh, may be stored. Oh, look at that, 7.6 potato and 4.2 hemp, so not too bad. Uh, they weren't able to plow the field. I didn't have any of the uh, cattle ready to go, but apparently some of this family is out of food and family is out of wealth is a glitch. If you kind of look through, you can see everybody's got mostly the f the food that they need or uh, will arrive soon. For example, we do have a, a cart around here. Oh, wait, there it is. Our little uh, stall here selling fish. And now we can sell some potato, too. So fish and potato are being sold at our markets, and we're going to be making a lot more uh, in terms of uh, fish to be traded. So Ostriv, O-S-T-R-I-V, is the name of this game on Steam. will be available very soon, but uh, if you pre-order, you can get the uh, beta access for $20 at this very moment. And look at this. We built some very beautiful-looking paths here. This is all custom. All these trees and all this path and this bench here that apparently I built in the middle of the thing uh, is all custom here. We laid this out, and that is one of the coolest things here. We can really add some nice details to everything. So as we're sending our uh, little, uh, I guess, what would you call them? Well, I didn't mean to do that. Our little merchant out to communicate with uh, Bal Balakia. Well, let's go ahead and lay down some decorations to make our city look a little bit more alive. We've been trying to do some of that up here as well. You can see around our um, clay pit, we tried to lay out a little bit of a field. I tried to stop people from walking through there and try to stick them on the main path. And then we put down some ash trees, birch trees, and a few other uh, trees as well. So the city looking very good. We had basically uh, this type of stuff in our previous setup as well. So we're not too uh, far off from what we had in our previous build. So if you're upset, I'm sorry, but you know what? Bigger and better things. That's what we're looking at now. We have more wells in the city. We have more uh, stalls in the city. And again, like I said, we're trying to get our cattle. If we build these here, these are our hay dryers. Uh, basically, the uh, townsfolk will grab grass, throw it up on the hay dryer, and then when ready, we'll throw it in the hay barrack, which is required to keep your livestock alive. I, I think I've wasted at least 120 bucks on it, but we should be okay. we got a lot of families bringing in some good cash now, so hopefully uh, they do just fine. I think we can build our town hall. Let's go ahead and get started with that. If we build our town hall, apparently we can work on uh, adjusting wages and uh, also helping out uh, a few other small functions in the city. We don't want to build it near the farm. We want this to look like a gloriously wonderful town hall, and if we can build it somewhere over here, maybe on uneven terrain, there could be a, a plot or a spot where we can put it down that we could have it take a little plop. Let's see if we can build it somewhere around here. Um, I think it's a little too, yeah, it's a little too uh, uneven, but we can fill that area out with trees. Uh, we can also put it near over, over somewhere by the lumber mill and just make it look like a real cool part of the city or, or a separate part of the city. We could build it all the way over here too, but I don't want to build it too far. I want it, I want it to be a part of the city somewhere over here if I can, uh, somewhere like there, but uneven terrain still plagues us, it seems. And we can always move our, uh, we could also move our lumber mill to be a little closer, though. Remember, moving a building is going to cost a lot because it's going to take all the time and money to, uh, you know, rebuild that, essentially. All right, let's see if we can find a nice place for this to go. Preferably down by the river, somewhere nice, on like a van down by the river. That wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be uh, profitable. We could also build it on this side of the town as well, but we'd have to put down a, a bridge to get over there. And I just don't feel like spending all the time and money on that in September it's a little late. Maybe we can come back to that a little later. We got, I got plans. We can build it over here, too, with additional houses. And speaking of additional houses, we may want to build that as well, as we have a lot of families moving into town. All right, so let's get started here in building our uh, town over here. I don't, I don't want to build the uh, town hall yet until we've got this forest more than uh, 
more than cleared. We kind of want this out of the way. I love the fact that these uh, houses, too, by the way, their fences kind of cling together, and they have themselves little yards, and that they plant trees. This game is very similar to Banish. We are battling the elements. We're not battling enemies. We're not battling bears or barbarians or, um, you know, anything like that. It's the cold. It's the cold. It's famine. It's basic uh, living in a very uh, early town settlement here. So let's go ahead and keep building what we're building. Uh, looks like we've got a lot of different uh, areas in town here. Looks like there's a... Oh, wow, look at that. We could build a little uh, archway here. Uh, this is our initial town camp, and I hope that everyone's getting all the food that they need. Let's speed up time a little bit. We're going to build two more houses for our population. We could also build a mill, uh, and also we do need to build a carpentry building to build a plow uh, for our uh, cattle next year. I think we may have already built that. Is that here? Looks like a carpentry is here and our smithy is there. So we've got both of those ready. The smithy making nails and a messenger looks like he arrived there finally. So let's go ahead and start our trading. And it looks like we do uh, have the ability to buy cow. Let's buy ourselves uh, two oxen. For the love of God, Raptor, do it right this time. We got a deal. All right, perfect. So we got cows coming back. Hopefully our village gets some more money soon. And uh, through hard work, we should get that. Education, health, and religious buildings coming soon. I will feature that in future updates ASAP. And those will be a big help to provide our uh, citizens with better jobs and eventually better income and stuff like that. Oh, also, you guys told me that if you hold shift, you can put down multiple of anything, so that's helpful. Three benches over here. There you go. It's a pretty uh, pretty busy thoroughfare there, so three benches will look nice. We can always put down trees. Really makes the city look alive, and there goes our workers working on more stuff. I feel like before we leave here, we have to have a city hall done. So let's build it somewhere where it's going to look important. Let's build it over here, and we'll build a... Uh, yeah, we got to get this building up ASAP. We'll build some pathways and some other things around it. We'll go ahead and put it on a lower uh, production status, though. Let's get the other buildings done first. All right, our workers are assembling buildings. As you would imagine, they're bringing clay, nails, lumber, all uh, being assembled on site. And then, no, yeah, they don't build them like they used to. Assembled right there. Looking very good. Nice work, boys. They also wear winter uniforms. You'll see that very soon. It's yet another year here in Raptoria. Looking real good. Looking good, boys. Every, everyone's looking great. Let's continue to put down our decorations. We got the uh, ash tree that I seem to really enjoy to put down for whatever reason. Oh, I, I got to click uh, I gotta click uh, shift on that. There we go, ash tree. We're going into Bob Ross mode. So if you're still watching, type Bob Ross down below in the comment section, and I'm going to love your comment, too. I appreciate all your support, so thank you. All right, let's keep putting down trees. We want this area to look alive. We want it to look really... Like it's a lived-in city, like people care here. They do. People love this city. Un unfortunately, we can't build any trees there in that area. It's in inaccessible, I guess, since nobody can technically go in there to plant. So we'll continue to put down trees and make it look as if um, it is a big, bustling city, which it is. It's getting very big. We've got over, uh, wow, 50 residents. Wow. That's like two houses if you build in uh, city skylines. But I, will, I love this game because... You have to get the resources. You have to feed your people. You have to get, you know, every piece of wood, every every little bit of clay has to be gathered. You go, you don't just swing down past the Home Depot and pick up some clay. You got to, you got to earn it. You got to build it. You got to make it yourself. Very cool. Just like Tropico, just like many of these other city builders, where you know time is of the essence and you need to get going. All right. Well, let's put down some more trees. I don't think it costs us anything to put down trees. Maybe it does, but I want our city to look real fine. And uh, so we'll put down some trees around this section. So we're doing a little bit of decoration. You will see that it does a massive payoff to making the city look realistic. If I just had these buildings down by the water, they wouldn't look so good. But the fact that we have, you know, pathways and it's a way to kind of control traffic, too. If you want your people to go around something or if you want them to take a different way to get somewhere, like, for example, if you want them to funnel into a bridge to get across the river instead of going a different way, you can totally make them do that. I want to build the bridge sometime soon as well. All right, one house is complete, and another family will move in here soon. Looks like, oh, wow, family already moved in. And uh, we'll get some more families up here ASAP, too. Looks like uh, we're going to need some more houses. But we need more food in order to accommodate. we got potatoes being sold at all three uh, market huts. Yep, potato, everything like that. And we've got wells, too, so our people should be well-fed. And here comes another town member. Who is this? Oh, I believe it's this family here. It already marked their house. That is the Lec Lecano family. Very good. Wow, look at their hauling through the forest. Very nice. Like allied, allied troops through the Battle of the Balls. There they go. Very nice. All right, another family here. Family's out of firewood. We were making plenty of that. Uh, we've got firewood ma maxed out here. I don't know exactly how we deliver. Do the, do the markets, can they sell firewood? Is that something that they can sell? I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Chicken seems to be... 
Oh, I see. It must just be delivered. Oh, maybe they have to come and get it. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but uh, we'll figure that out in time. All right, let's make sure our jobs are going here. Carpentry, we don't have any. Oh, how, how, how are our cows doing? Oh, we actually do have uh, cows ready to go. Very nice. We have our two oxen ready to go. We can go ahead and uh, farm these next year. Uh, it says farm at the moment, but we can go ahead and shut it down at the farm. We have no workers, no manager. We might want to hire a manager just to uh, keep things running, and we want somebody to attend to the cows. Water and hay are being stored here, and we've got plenty of people uh, working the wells. For expansion, we might want to build some more future wells. Now here's where you got to kind of stop and worry about uh, the small uh, manners of your city for expansion. If you build too quickly and don't accommodate for uh, future growth, you're going to have a bad time. You don't want to have that. And by bad time, I mean death, famine, and destruction. Probably in that order. All right, we'll build another well there. And our city hall will be built next after this house is done. We'll go ahead and build down a, a line uh, just down this street, and we'll start building some fences around things and start making it look good. This is our thatchery, by the way, uh, which does have a worker there. And it's going to be really necessary for these houses in future expansion. Too bad we can't build down by the river, but I think we should fill up a little bit more. Of the I know you guys probably want me to build a little bit more than just a ash tree. Let's build a few birch trees. And uh, cottonwoods are kind of a little bit more decorative, in my opinion. So they're perfect for parks. So that's uh, a good thing to make it look nice. I was trying to think of another word to rhyme with P. It is a perfect placeable for parks, preferably. Yeah, that's all I got. All right. <laughs> okay, let's continue to put down trees uh, back here. Again, this is uneven land, according to uh, our construction experts. So we'll build it about that far with the uh, trees and make it try to look nice. I always loved putting down trees in city skylines in SimCity. So hopefully, ooh, some of those trees are looking really nice. You can see where some of the older mature trees are. So that's really looking great. So we'll build little, little uh, trees here and there, which are looking fantastic. Wonderful. Good, gorgeous. All right, great. Okay. Well, over by the clay pit, we'll put down some more too. So this city is, uh, it improves upon our problems from the previous city. And uh, it looks like we've got, uh, and of course, we'll have more problems as time goes on. If you have any tips or anything you immediately see I need to improve upon, remember, uh, it'll take some time for me to read your comment. But please feel free to uh, give some helpful uh, feedback on how to make the city a better place. Preferably high-speed internet. I'm aware of that. Also, I understand that we want a light rail going through and possibly an entertainment uh, downtown district uh, where we can all go on our hover bikes. But unfortunately, it's 1723. And in fact, America is not even a place yet, if you think about it this long ago. I've seen church in the Nether churches in the Netherlands that are older than the United States. Amazing how long ago cities started and began to flourish before the creation of uh, modern, uh, uh, you know, cities such as in the West or uh, in, you know, for example, Asia with modern buildings and stuff. Beautiful architecture, and this is no exception here. All right, we've got yet another house uh, ready over here, uh, almost ready. It just needs a few more things to be delivered, more wood and nail. Nope, they're waiting thatch. So here comes the thatch now, or it should be coming here shortly. And then we'll have our town hall. Let's try to build something around the town hall. Let's try to get this all started here before we even begin the building. Uh, there should be a way to build like a nice fence around the town hall. Very beautiful how you can build fences. I just love this, how you can attach. The game does a very good job of uh, helping you to attach uh, to buildings and foundations and stuff, really just making buildings look beautiful. And I think we will try to shorten it up here. We'll uh, try to build a tight fence around it. Actually, let's try to build like a little, 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 little maybe area over here for some trees. Something to just add a little variety to the town hall. And then we'll just make a little thing like that to get into the town hall. I don't know. Uh, if we could build a stone wall, I would do that. A, a beautiful gate or something like that would be gorgeous. But we'll go ahead and put cottonwood here. It'll be eventually... A gorgeous looking building. I'm spending more time decorating than I am feeding my people, but we do have potatoes from the previous year. All right, now they should begin. Oh, you know, we want to make sure they don't, uh, there we go, continue. Don't uh, want to miss out on constructing that. Now, this, of course, will be the pride of our nation, or at least our city, Raptoria. What nation do you think we're in? Do you think we're in the Ukraine, Poland, possibly Japan, maybe a different, very strange looking part of Japan? A messenger from Balakava is visiting now. Oh, yeah, we got to start our trading too, don't we? Wonder if, uh, what is he, how do you exactly visit him? Oh, I guess maybe that's how to export. Um, we could ex start ex exporting uh, hemp, I believe. Let's go ahead and maybe start that. Though I'm not sure exactly how to do this. So I'm assuming we trade like two hemp or something. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to go. What do we need here for building? Nails, wood, maybe thatch here too. Maybe it'll require hemp, I'm not sure. 
but we'll see in a little bit. So beautiful cottonwood trees being planted all around the uh, exterior uh, or the perimeter of the fence. Beautiful. I'm trying to put it matching each, each little uh, post. There we go. And the foundations of the city hall are beginning. Big arch, small arch. Let's build a little small arch here. This is what I call our arch nemesis. It's going to remove a tree. That's okay. Very nice. All right. Hopefully this will look like a very rep... Uh, rep what, what's the word I'm looking for? Very... It, it, it going to look good. Me like. <laughs> it's going to be a real good representation of our, of our people. Let's hope that happens. All right. Let's put down a couple of benches here. Again, this is representing the town, so it's got to look nice. And let's put down a, well, not a pine tree, but a birch tree. Let's put down a couple birch trees on the premises just to look nice. There we go. That should be enough. More than four or more than three. Okay, so what are we looking for here? We're waiting for nails. We're waiting for, uh, looks like there's a lot of wood and such here. This will help us uh, adjust wages and we'll make everything uh, run a little bit more smoothly at the town. And uh, I think we've got everything going on here. We, we've got workers. It's November. I think we can pos possibly order plows for the next year, order a plow. Okay, we've ordered a plow now, so we can get our uh, uh, our uh, carpentry working on that. Zero out of two animals. Let's just go ahead and hire two guys to work on that right away, and uh, they can start making um, whatever they need to for the year. I wish people would walk right... I think the best thing to do is you need to put these arches down first and then attach the fences to them. Otherwise, I don't think you, you can... You can't make it small enough. Now, see, that that looks like it would work, right? Little... You know, little things like that, but it's okay. All right, the town hall is quickly under construction, and they will probably finish around January, I'm assuming. And it's going to look really beautiful over there. That's going to look nice. That's going to raise the property value there. All right, wonderful. Let's go ahead and build on the back of the... Uh, I guess... Mm, well, that that building is going to be there for quite some time, I, I'm afraid. Not not in a bad way, but it's just going to have to be a while till we move it. Let's go ahead and build right here. Yet another house for uh, our people. Yet another person moving in. More jobs then we'll have to have. I, I would assume in the future, uh, when you can build educational buildings, I would assume anybody who has an education will be working at the um, at the uh, actual town hall, you know, to do accounting duties or to work with, uh, you know, possibly public affairs, people, you know, grievances, that kind of thing, maybe a makeshift courthouse, that kind of thing. Um, we do need to worry on, on crop rotation. So I think what the goal here was people told me to do uh, potato hemp follow and then potato again. I could be completely wrong on that. So again, if you want me to change it up, oh, what are we doing here? There we go. Uh, then go ahead and let me know. All right, hemp. Oh no, come on, not follow. Uh, how do I, how do I mix it up with a different crop? I want to, oh, maybe this. Ah, there we go. Okay. So hemp, let's do potato and then follow again. And then of course, follow just allows you to, uh, follow allows you to uh, replenish the field. Let's go Follow hemp, uh, something like that. Follow potato again. It's good to do ro uh, rotation, but I'll learn a little bit more about that. So if you have any advice, now's the time to continue to watch and then advise me on what you want me to do for uh, the field. You, you see everything here? I'm sure I got something. It's a little more complicated for this, so just make sure you advise me on how to do things a little differently there. All right, it is November now. We're getting into the darker, deeper ends of the month or the year. It is uh, currently November when I'm recording this too. So, you know, the days are shorter. The weather is a little more dreary. Uh, weather conditions can slow down construction. No, a sign of that in the game. It seemed to be able to supply all the things year round. But uh, as far as our people's needs, I, I think we're waiting one water. It looks like everybody's getting whatever they need. We have fish, firewood, potatoes. At least people are getting what they need. And our farm can be a little bigger. I'm aware of that as well. But hopefully it's, we've got enough to supply the current population that we have with the fishing and the, uh, and the, uh, the farm going out. I'd like to see a, a, a hunter's ne a tent or what would you think? What, what could be some other building? You've got farming, you've got hunting, fishing, um, possible, I don't know, maybe people to go pick mushrooms, that kind of thing. I, I know that's very big in the east as well. A lot of lot of dishes and such, and it provides a lot of a uh, lot of heartiness to meals and stuff. It's not only just a kind of a topping, but it's actually something people uh, really truly rely on. All right, let's stop construction on that house. Everything's going to be focused on city hall, and a lot of clay needs to be delivered here. Uh, I believe one thing you all recommended was to build more carts, uh, another cart stall. Um, so maybe I could do one of those. A cart parking uh, ramp would be good here, other than the three that we have currently. So maybe that's another good upgrade we could do. And where could we build that specifically? I think it'd be good right along here. We'll build it right just behind the other cart here. 
Well, apparently we removed a tree to get it, but perfect. We've got it. And apparently we need order carts. How do we order? We're ordering carts, but... All right, well, that'll help to speed up delivery and, and construction. I don't know who... Is somebody building that exactly? Ah, here we are. Our carpentry building is building that now. Good. And do we get our plows delivered too? Order a plow. Plow available. Wonderful. I wonder if we... Oh, we should probably order two because uh, we have two animals. Looks like they may be accounted for that. All right, well, we're building more carts. Very good. A cart has been uh, completed and hopefully will be delivered over there shortly. There we go. All right, so that means more carts for our town. Okay, apparently that guy just... Oh, he, wow, he switched right into winter clothes as he was walking over. Clark Kent, everybody. Superman, over over day and night. Wow, look at that. Everybody's wearing their winter clothes. All right, yet another winter is upon us. The city looking beautiful. Again, I wish the trees would just be touched up with a little bit of snow. Obviously, they're, you know, they're evergreen trees, so they'll be green year-round. But, um, you know, it, with the snowfall, it would definitely uh, be, look a little nicer. Hmm. All right. I feel like we should build more onto our village, but I think we have to hold off for the year since we are uh, going to have to work on our farm first thing next year. We already have our... Oh, God. I hope those... Oh, God. I hope the plow... Oh, it seems to just show that they're ready to go. God, please don't let them die or anything because they're in the cold. I think they're just going to chill out there, I guess. All right. Um, we'll work on having some workers here next year. Maybe I could build some more farms. We'll leave that as is for now. I'm not sure how many I'm unemployed. What's our what's our population at? Uh, open vacancies is four. Looking for jobs are eight. So of the that's interesting. We have eight people looking for jobs with four vacancies. Uh, no housing available though. So is, am I reading that right? It seems like we have um, four open vacancies for men. Five looking for jobs. Eight women. Oh, I see. Okay, so we need more men in the town. I guess there are. Uh, jobs for men and jobs for women that they perhaps prefer to take or perhaps skills that they have skills in, in this time of year or in this uh, time you know there, nobody really knows much other than hard work so uh, you know obviously uh, certain people better at different things who knows I, I don't know oh wow that's a lot of wood being delivered though all right oh uh, let's see what can we do for the uh, well now that we have hemp too by the way maybe we should start thinking about working on uh, weaving and uh, making sh uh, stuff for the next year. That would be a helpful thing. Uh, textile for hemp from hemp. So the weaver's workshop would be a great thing. I believe uh, we can put that around here. Somewhere nearby. A little industrial building. Uh, that no matter where we put it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to put it down there. It's going to be good to see everybody working in and pitching in in this town. I like this. We could put our little weaver building over here. This will look nice right in the corner because there's really there's an uneven terrain back there past there. So let's let's build the weaver's building just off a little bit, just a little bit. Make it look like more of a cottage kind of deal. And we'll build it near the well, but kind of over that way. Perfect. All right. So that'll deal with all the hemp that we've gotten. So then we can sell clothing, make more money from that. And then, of course, with our cows, we can eventually uh, kill them, you know, slaughter them, use the meat, and then turn the, uh, well, right now it's oxen for that. But we'll buy some more cows. We'll hopefully eventually be able to get dairy products. I'm not sure if that's a thing. I didn't see that there, um, but possibly we could do that. Look at all the people. Look at that. All right, now we got a lot of a lot of mobility with all the carts going on. That could have been a thing that was slowing us down before. But people are moving, moving, man. Look at that. People are moving back and forth. So production at the town should be sped up now. That well, look at that. Wow, a lot of wood being delivered. Very good. Now we got lots of people delivering wood. Very nice and clay. Very good. All right. I'm loving this town so far. Raptoria looking good. Looking a lot different than the last town, huh? But this is this is what I wanted to uh, to do. And this looks a little uh, less newbie than the other one. Plus, we've got kind of a nice center area, too. Uh, the map is different, but we've got uh, pretty much the same premise started. we got the trading going on with the neighbors. Everything was looking good. We were trading hemp, but I'm, I'm, again, I'm not sure how this works. I think the visitor, only the person who trades maybe picks that up and pays us. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the pricing is. There's some things I maybe we can see only when we do the town hall. You'd think we'd have to have the town hall up before we did any trading. All right, now, see, John, this is a that's a non-load bearing. Uh, oh, okay, he put up the cross beam. All right, there you go. Perfect. All right, Baklava, messengers visiting again. I don't know exactly what we can do when he visits. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess he's. Oh, I guess they send some too. Very nice. We can sell them potato. Uh, let's see, uh, sell to baklava, let's sell, I don't know, maybe 10 units of potato, deal. All right, let's do it. I think we had a ton of potatoes stored over there anyway. Didn't we at the farm? 4.3 potato, oh boy, that's gonna, oh boy. Well, actually, maybe that was after us selling it. I'm not, I'm not sure. 
Oh boy, hopefully I didn't corrupt our town. But they already, it's not like we're going to rip potatoes out of people's homes already. This this guy's got a four, an eighth of a potato. That's great. Our people have plenty of food. Excellent. <laughs> no, I don't I don't know how what that is. I don't know if that's uh, kilograms of potatoes. I don't know if that's like a uh, number of days. I'm not sure exactly what the math is on that one. But our town hall is looking so beautiful. Look at that. And then imagine when we build behind there, more town is going to be built over this way. So farmland is going to go over here. And town is going to go over here, and then industry, uh, industrial buildings and areas can go across the river too, including maybe more uh, fisheries. That'll give it just a huge boost to our uh, town economy during the during the winter months. And it looks like they still sell. Look at that. We got plenty of fish stored. I hope everybody's. I hope we're doing good. I hope we've supplied more than enough food to our people. I think we've done an excellent job with that so far, given the fact that, again, I'm kind of stumbling around in the dark a bit, but with your help, we will make a great city, and that's what it's all about. Can't can't build a city with one guy. It's not a Minecraft map. It's not a single-player server. All right, look at that. The roof is going on here. Let's see this glorious building get constructed. This is just wonderful. Watching this is just so cool. I wish more games would do this. Uh, a lot of the times, if you remember, like, for example, from, uh, you know, Command and Conquer Generals, the building's like a scaffolding goes up and the building just kind of inflates from under the earth. And there you go. Built and looking beautiful. Look at that. The town hall already done. Let's slow down time here. Let's see what we can do. Population and economy. Oh, we got a mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mayor Bilovid Ukrainians. He's working. I don't know what that bar is filling up. Maybe he's going to become president next. Maybe when it gets fully filled. All right, we can take a look at our population, wealth distribution, no housing available for any people to move in. Oh, look at that. We can see good details such as horse, oxen. Why do we have zero oxen? Did they die again? Oh, don't tell me that. Oh, they're there. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, economy, basic monthly wage, market product price is 100%, village rent. Oh, we can increase that a little bit. Oh, let's do that. Let's get some cash back. We're kind of like plateauing on our money look at that we have income and expenses oh boy yeah we better kind of bring that up a little bit our money's going to be down but we've been doing a lot of production and now hopefully trading will help bring those costs down or at least even out as we're expanding uh, of course with you know growth of towns comes uh, kind of a plateau as well in terms of uh, wealth since everybody's kind of moving and getting uh, a new job or a new house they spend all their time on that all right, so we've got a lot of things going here. Hopefully, I've done the farm right. Again, you guys can advise when the spring months come here. So I think we're looking real good, and I'm glad our town hall is completed. It looks really nice, really just beautiful. The cottonwoods all around it, the couple of trees in the front. Maybe we should build some cottonwood trees that go along the side, too. I don't know. I wish we could build more, like, decorations, more... Uh, you know, it'd be cool if we actually had electricity and could build some lamps or something. But, all right, we have a house ready for the spring so let's get that house ready we'll have some new families move in and again these new families though they may be a burden on our food uh, will also be workers for our farms too they as you can see we get have up to like 20 workers or so for the farms so we definitely need to make sure we've got that going and uh we've got our little weaver going on over there dream weaver dream we you guys know the song and I think we'll leave this area for our farm. I want to build down this way and this way with our farm so I think we want to build houses closer uh, to where the town hall is. So we can build a house over here in the corner maybe. Just to kind of square off our territory between the farm and the neighborhood. Okay, another house permitted to be built. Weaver is going down. That house is going down. And, uh, oh boy, hopefully we don't go down burning. All right, let's continue to build places occupied. Well, I'm trying to build next to the place. There we go. And I, do, I don't, I don't want to build close to the town hall. Let's see if we can actually build a little... I wonder if we can build a path through. Eh, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to build a house here. And I'm going to build a little path uh, that goes up this way. Uh, that connects there. And then maybe we can make a little thoroughfare for our, our townsfolk to pass through between the house. And yeah, that looks really small, doesn't it? But it'll have to be kind of a street for the future. Luckily, no cars yet, so it's uh, about the size that it needs to be. Look at this guy getting this luxurious fence. This is going to be a very expensive house. This is going to have Napa leather uh, couches. It's going to have, uh, see, you know, like a built-in computer. It's going to know your thought. That or it's just going to not have a leaky roof, one of the two. Whatever whatever comes first. All right, let's speed up time, and uh, let's continue on. Let's see what we get built uh, dur during the rest of the month here, and then we'll get started on the farming right away. We've got two houses, three houses coming in, one over here, one over there. And one over here. Perfect. All three houses looking good. I wonder if it raises, like, value or happiness if we kind of make uh, birch 
trees and stuff like that. We could also put a well over here as well. Oh, ho! I think I made that joke at least four times now. Um, we'll get to wheat and a few other things too. I think we really just want to make sure we have enough to start with the farming. We'll make this look like a manor, even though everyone in town can use this. We'll kind of make this look like, maybe this is the Maris house right next to the town hall. He doesn't have to, uh, you know, it's not a long haul for him to get to the town hall. You know what I mean? Birch trees, uh, the thatchery next door, all peaceful, beautiful little ocean, fr lakefront, riverfront property. Looking real good. All right, folks. Well, yet another year has passed, and our city continues to grow. Again, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed that, if you want to see more of that, if you want me to live stream this more. Just let me know. I love this game. This game is so cool. I just, it's just really nice designing. It's really like setting up your own model train set, except it's a town, and it's really nice that you have to get materials to do it. So that is it for my time today. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me know you're new around here, too. And I will see you guys in the spring where we're going to bring the bling bling with all of the uh, potatoes and hemp and everything else we're going to be selling. Oh, you know, yes, we're bringing the dang kush, y'all. All right, take care. You have yourself a good day. I will see you all soon. Thanks for the support, and goodbye. Say goodbye, Raptoria. Bye. Okay, you hear the townsfolk saying hi? Okay, bye. All right, bye. Ting, 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 ting.